Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to explain how you can create uh, subtables report within Matomo Analytics. Um, so you may wonder what I'm talking about. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So within the page title report, you can uh, create exactly like uh, the page URL report um, a way to categorize your page title. So that's uh, typically useful when in a given title report, you are in fact splitting the category of uh, the, the content. So let's say that within the title, you are passing um, something in order to say, hey, it belongs to a uh, root uh, parent uh, category. And this is what it is about. Um, so I found out this possibility when looking through the tracking um, API documentation. I really would like to thank uh, Stefan for his help here because without his help, so Stefan from the Matomo community, I wouldn't have understood this sentence. So when you look through the tracking HTTP API, it's telling you action name and the title of the action of being tracked is possible by using slash to set one or several categories for this action. So it means that for the page title, you can add a delimiter in order to be able to say that it belongs to a parent element. And the example that they are giving you is uh, indeed working, but there's a huge but uh, to know is that by default, the config file of Matomo is not supporting it. So to say the documentation here is correct, but is not precising at the time I'm recording this video that the config file has to be adapted. So uh, let's imagine that you are pushing an information such as this one, like help, uh, we're gonna put it like this. So help, like uh, help five, I'm validating it. Uh, then here, it's gonna work as you can uh, see over here, we're gonna have the help five and the help five is gonna be nested within, within something else, okay? Uh, which is exactly the behavior uh, that we wanted. But in order to allow this, we needed to edit uh, the config file. So uh, in order to edit the config file, you will need to access over here to your uh, Matomo config global.ini.php file. And you will see uh, that you have something which is called delimiter. I have no idea why it's located there now. But uh, you need to precise there's going to be a slash because by default it is empty. Uh, so let's see, delimiter, delimiter, uh, delimiter, Oops. yes, okay, here it is. Um, so by default, this one is written like this, okay, and you need to change it and put a slash and it's going to do exactly the same thing as for the action URL category delimiter, then it's gonna see every time that you are using something. So I, I could change it by something else just for the sake of the example. So like putting it a dash like this. And, and uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna say like F7. And if I do so, I guess F7 should Help seven, okay. And as a result, the other one are getting uh, broken, which is normal. And that's everything that I wanted to show you for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.